dude, I got a big brook trout. I got a big brook trout and a big fireball. Look at this thing. Looks like big fat brookies like pink fireballs too. <laughs> this is a tank brookie. It's a giant rainbow. Oh my god. Dude, another tank. Ah. It's all wrapped up. Oh my god. He's too big for the net. <laughs> Another really nice fish at Rock Springs, tank. All right guys, so it's winter right now in West Virginia. Obviously you can tell that the, you know, the snow is on the ground and, and we just want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on here, okay? We were here about six months ago uh, and we talked to the owners of Rock Springs and they said, hey, what, what suggestions do you guys have? You think people are gonna like this place? One thing I can tell you is they have a hatchery on site. So they've got a lot of fish. One thing we said to them is the area alongside the hatchery is not really good for fishing. It was really shallow. So you know what they did? They came through here with bulldozers and dug out holes for you guys to enjoy. This used to be flat as can be. Now there's a hole right here. And you can see all the way down. There are now holes right through this area. It just shows you these folks have built a phenomenal fishery. For those of you that like to kind of get away from crowds, it's gonna cost you. It is $75 a day to come here. This is private land. There will be no trespassing signs for other anglers saying, don't come here unless you're on the guest list today. So it just shows you, those of you that want a place to go in the winter months, this place is always good, it's always flowing, and there's always trout to be caught here. Dude, rookie hole of the century. <laughs> no way. Rookie hole of the century. Oh my God. This is an upgrade. This is an upgrade. We at the honey hole for brookies. <laughs> Third tank brookie out of here. Wow. This is a smaller stream. Uh, it's low and clear right now. And uh, something we've kind of figured out over the years is our fireballs work really well in low and clear conditions. And here's why. So they're not a real egg. They're egg imitation but they look really translucent, like they're kind of transparent. And you can get these nice light pink colors, like this is pink shrimp. And they look really awesome. You see that? They look really good. And the key with fishing these is a small light wire hook, like our fire hook, like a size 12 or 14 works really well because with these fake eggs, it's gotta be something that can hook it, but not split the bait. And so a small fire hook like this, look how small it is compared to the egg, is key. And all you gotta do is hook it like any other salmon egg, where it just kind of pushes right through the egg and the hook kind of hides in it, just like that. And on a stream like this, these do really well, and I'll show you right now how effective they are. Oh, it's a giant rainbow. It's a giant rainbow. Oh my God. Dude, another tank. Ah. It's all wrapped up. Oh my God. It's too big for the net. <laughs> Look at that thing! I got one. Oh my god, it's a giant! It's a giant on the firebank! It's huge! Oh my god. Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh, right there! Look at that. Oh my god, dude, that was a giant! Oh. All right, you saw me catch a few really nice ones on them pink shrimp fireballs, so I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go to rainbow firebait, multicolor dull bait. 
And honestly, a lot of people use really big chunks for this stuff. I'm gonna try to go about similar size to a salmon egg or our fireballs. Works really well in these small creeks. Let's whip it in there and see if they like it just as much as the fireballs. Firebait, just lost a hog. Rough cast. Oh my gosh. Almost had it in that tree. Got him right away. Instant, man. As soon as it hit that log. Dude, what is it? I think it's a big rookie. I think it's a big rookie. I think it's a big rookie. Oh, -ho -ho! rookie's on fire bait, baby. It is. I think it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is it's it? a brookie. It's is a brookie. It? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it is. Wrapped up. Take a up. I gotta step in front of you real quick, man. I guess brookies like fire bait and pink shrimp fireballs. Another hog brookie. Oh my god, another giant brookie! <laughs> I like this hole. No way. Dude, every time I pitch it under that stump. No way. No way. Dude, this might be the biggest one yet. Oh, it is. It is the biggest one yet. I caught a brookie on the pink shrimp fireballs, but what we're learning is they want the rainbow fire bait. Since I switched to that, Oh, I got a big golden! I got a big golden! Oh my god. Oh my god. I got a giant golden. I got a giant golden. He's hot chicken like crazy. <laughs> oh my god, he's a hotback! Oh my god. Oh, open in the net. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, get out of here. He's a tank. Have you ever seen a humpback golden like this? Look at this thing. <laughs> this is what I have dreams about. Today's episode of Pots Get Doors comes to you from the heart of the Appalachian Mountains here in the greater West Virginia area where we're fishing at Rock Springs in a new section of water that we have always wanted to come back and check out. Reason being, this is the section we told you guys about. They said they were gonna come through here and redo it and make it more fish friendly, which means there's more pools, more holes, more places for these fish to congregate here in the upper section of their creek here. Sure enough, they brought bulldozers in here when nobody was looking. They did a great job digging out some holes and all these fish are here waiting for you guys. Now we fish today with primarily two baits. We focused on pink shrimp, Fireballs, remember they're not real eggs, they're imitation, they are scented. However, we also switched over and used rainbow fire bait. Those fish caught 99% of the rainbows and amazing brooks we landed today. However, lucky old hook jaw golden rainbow here came on a single natural deluxe. Now you'll see Jarrett use fire hooks and fire floats in this video as well, all of which came in one hole. That's because they do so much stocking here, guys. Think Cripple Creek, always loaded. This place is always loaded. We've been to both of them. Similar fishing and success rates that you'll have in Cherokee and other places. Boy, do we have a great time here. Regardless of where you're from, anywhere in the Eastern United States, this place is within distance where you can come up here for a day and have a great time. Now remember, it is private property. It's gonna cost you $75 to come here which affords you the opportunity to keep six trout. Most of them are gonna be one to five pounds. So they do tell us they stock them in here up to 10 pounds. We didn't see that. We saw a lot of two, three, four pound fish, which is incredible. So if you're looking for a place to come this winter, add this to your list. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.